ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ Saram everyone and today we'll speak about very special person in the Sai tradition actually and his name is a Mr. Wolf Messing. He was born in the very end of 19th century uh, exactly that was 1899 and he passed away in 1974 actually uh, middle of 20th century and uh, he was born um, actually in Russia and he was Jewish but was born in Russia and um, actually Mr. Messing was one of the most famous clairvoyant okay if you wish prophet of 20th century Um, okay, uh, if you are really uh, interesting, I'm sure it will be very exciting to know more about Mr. Wolf Messing. Uh, so there are so many books, articles and movies about uh, this uh, unique uh, individual. Actually, we are speaking about clear words, um, but really not so many people actually clear word actually I met in my life so many guys who pretend that they are but I mean clear word but really they are not but the Mr. Messing was amazingly clear word if we can uh, speak about clear words and bring any example that's for sure going to be Mr. Wolf Messing. Okay, what is the connection between Messing, Mr. Messing and um, uh, Satya Sai Baba? That's very interesting that uh, actually Messing was <coughs> the first person who understood who Sai Boy at that time um, Satisai was just 10 years old and exactly this Mr. Messing was the first person who understood that this boy, Sai boy, Satisai boy is the divine being, the divine incarnation. Well, if you take um, any Satisai biography, normally any author mentioning about Wolf Messing, because that's very important. Actually, Satisai was born in uh, 1926, and 10 years later, 1936, uh, Messing came to India, and he visited like um, uh, okay, Delhi, New Delhi, Bangalore. Bombay, at that time it was Bombay, Calcutta, etc. And uh, the story goes like that, that on the way, so he, was tra he traveled by train, of course, at that time, from Bangalore to Delhi, as most of you know pretty well, we have Anantapur railway station, which is close to Bangalore, actually. And when the train <coughs> reached this Anantapur railway station, let me remind you that was 1936, so Mr. Messing experienced something, we can only imagine what actually uh, was his experience, but, but because he was really clear word, so he understood that something very unusual I mean, some unusual person being, after all, child is somewhere near. And he decided spontaneously just go out of train on this Anandapur railway station. He invited all his 
whatever team members helpers to follow him they took all the luggage uh, out of the train can you imagine uh, the shock of uh, his helpers team members okay I can imagine and then um, we have different kinds of uh, this story and actually um, as far as I uh, know that we can't be sure how exactly this meeting took place we have two basic options and one of them that Mr. Messing through his clear voice understood that like kind of you know this direction we have to to drive so they <coughs> took car and uh, Messing just told to the driver okay let's go this way and finally they came to put party again please remember that was 1936 put party was not like today wonderful town you know beautiful cozy etc at that time there was a very small village and somehow they got there and Mason point the house where such a side family lived at that time and then he came to the Sai boy such a Sai boy and he told let me quote okay he point to the such a Sai boy and he told he is a divine person um, and that was yeah kind of shock for the villagers because can you imagine very famous uh, Wolf Messing from Europe, clear wind, came to this village and point to the boy. And that was something like three or four years before actually Satisai proclaimed himself as an avatar. So nobody knew about uh, anything special regarding Satisai boy. That's first uh, kind of story because let me repeat again and again we're not sure how it's happened really the second option is uh, I mean the second type of the story how this meeting actually happened uh, goes like that that at that particular day uh, parents such as uh, parents they went to Anantapur okay and they took such a side boy with them I don't know what what was actually the reason why they went to Anantapur maybe for the reason to visit any office or maybe some marketplace and um, the second type of this story uh, tells us that okay the Messing Mr. Messing he met such a side boy not in put party but in Anantapur itself but uh, the result was the same he found the boy located the boy and he told that this boy this child is the divine person well um, according to my research we can't be sure now how this meeting actually happened the first option as I told you that Messing went to put party by car from Anantapur. The second possibility is that he met uh, such a Sai family in Anantapur itself. Actually, for me, I believe for all of us, it actually doesn't matter. Details of this wonderful and amazing story actually not so important. What is important? Important is <coughs> that Mr. Wolf messing was so hugely clear wild that 1936 when Sai was just 10 years old it's actually three to four years before he proclaimed himself as an avatar Mr. Messing already understood that this child you know is the divine incarnation how amazing is this how amazing 
Um, you know, uh, I don't want to speak too much about um, Wolf Messing in this video. Maybe in the future I can make some more videos about this um, really profits, really profit. But uh, somehow uh, Messing was clear wind from his own childhood. He didn't practice anything special to awake this ability, the supernatural power. He was just clear one from the very, you know, early age, from his childhood. And he didn't know actually why God gave him this ability. And of course now we can suppose that the main purpose just to recognize God himself, yeah? Um, and um, Mr. Messing was very bright and very kind person with a good heart. And he was the person with a lot of spiritual suffering, by the way. Because through his clear words, he was able to see future uh, like both on the personal level and the future for just, you know, countries, nations, but he was not able to change this future. And um, we know so many stories about uh, Mr. Messing, how he could see, for example, very good, successful future for somebody, and then he was very happy. <coughs> but sometimes he could see a lot of problems, troubles, danger, in the life of somebody else. But his supernatural power was such um, that he was able only to predict, but not change. Uh, that was his main suffering, because sometimes he could predict really bad events, but was not able to change the situation. Okay. This is the story. This is the story. Okay, um, now we have a um, yeah, next step in the Sai tradition, which is Premasai time. Uh, and um, right now we have a number of candidates and different people trying to understand who is the really their Premasai and who is just candidate pretending it's not easy not e not easy job to understand and actually basically I believe that <coughs> in the future um, this um, discussion will continue I mean about premise now now I'm speaking about premise we have a number of candidates some of them they have already now different ashrams some of the candidates, they're too small, so let me remind you that at the moment is 20, 22. And yeah, we have few premisei ashrams, you know, and some candidates are too small and they're just planning to start ashrams. But we have a number of candidates. How can we understand who is really that premisei? It's question of spiritual clear wines, not just clear wines in a healing sense, medical sense, or just you know clear wines. Sometimes it's happen just for the entertainment, which is not good, of course. But the spiritual clear wines means you see something through your third eye, which you can open with the help of meditation. And, um, and of course, it's your heart. Heart is always telling truth. But we have to awake, open our heart to see the truth. And my opinion about many candidates, as I told you in my previous videos, I, I don't think that all of them are cheaters. You know. No, no, no. One candidate is the premise side, that's obvious. Other candidates, they're just like streams 
like aspects of this huge divine consciousness. So it means for me different candidates that also carry certain power, certain mission, but they're just aspects. That's my opinion, that's my vision. And of course now different groups of Sai devotees, they choose different candidates. And what is very sad, that these groups already now start to struggle. Sometimes I discuss privately, personally with the different Sai devotees this Premasai question. And um, yeah, there are people who are ready to respect different opinions about such a, an easy question. But there are people who are very aggressive already now. That's not good. So, you know, it's a huge, huge divine lila. You know, many candidates. Who, who of us more clear one than somebody else? So we have to be very careful. Very careful. And um, I don't think that we know God, God's plan. Yeah, because some people think that only this candidate is true one. Some other people think that no, no, that that, that one is only true. Quite many <coughs> Sai devotees prefer to exercise more safe approach, which is to reject all candidates and say that true premise is going to come very soon. It's like, you know, to wait Messiah always tomorrow. Very tricky approach. Messiah comes always tomorrow. So it's like, like that. Yeah, it's like that. Very interesting time we are living in Sairam. See you next time. Satsavituruvarinyam Bharago Devasya Nimahi Diyo Yonak Prachodayantam